Hey guys, welcome to the 10th episode of Real Talks with me, Realtor Nero. So I still can't believe this is the 10th episode that I'm doing. Um, so I wanted to make it like a special one. So we're going to do the Q&A for this episode. I asked you guys what questions you guys want to know about me and you guys delivered. You guys gave me a ton of questions. I don't know if I can answer all of them, but I'm going to try my best. So let's just get started. So first question was. Okay, guys, first question, how old are you and what are your future goals in life? So I'm 25, so I still got a long journey ahead of me. Um, I have a lot of things I wanted to achieve. One of the main goals is um, I want to keep working on my real estate. I want to become one of the top agents in Toronto. So that's a big goal of mine. Another goal is um, I actually run an e-commerce business with my cousin. If you didn't already know, uh, it's called Yana, which uh, for those of you that don't know, it means elephant in Tamil. Uh, and basically we want to... Uh, we want to impact the world through a sustainable and ethical approach to fashion. Um, so we want to kind of use that tool to kind of help um, help make an impact against climate change. Another goal of mine is to achieve financial freedom. So not just for me, uh, but I want all of you guys to achieve financial freedom. So I want to inspire as many people as I can to achieve financial freedom. So that's a huge goal of mine. Um, honestly, I can just keep talking and talking about my goals. I have a long list of things I want to do. Do lighter eyes run in the family? Because damn. <laughs> so thank you for that. Yes, uh, they, they do run in my family. Um, my brother has uh, lighter eyes as well, um, as well as a few of my cousins. Uh, I get it. My parents don't have those eyes, but my I, I think I get it from my grandma, from my dad's side. Um, so yeah, they do, I guess, run in the family. <laughs> So yeah, so I have traveled to uh, quite a few places. Traveling is honestly my passion. And another goal of mine, honestly, would be just to travel the whole world and see everything. Um, let me, I actually have a map, a scratchable map that I can show you guys. Let me pull it out here and then um, I can show you guys. This map is pretty cool. It's like a scratchable map and it allowed me to kind of scratch out all the places I've been to. Uh, so I've been to Japan. I've been to Malaysia, Singapore. Uh, Thailand is somewhere I really want to visit soon. Been to Sri Lanka many times. I've been to India. Um, I've been to Dubai. I've been to Cyprus. All over Western Europe. So when I was younger, my dad still lived in uh, Switzerland. So we'd always go there and just do road trips everywhere. And then I've been to Cuba. I've been to Dominican Republic. Uh, Mexico. The States. I still haven't visited the West Coast. I just scratched out the whole map. As well as... Uh, now most of Canada. Okay, so a few of you guys wanted to know what drove me to pursue real estate. Uh, so when I was growing up, I actually wanted to be a doctor. Um, so I don't know if it was because I wanted to or because my parents wanted me to. Uh, but it is something that I, I was pretty focused on until I, I got to high school and I started researching more. And I realized that like... I really crave freedom and I feel like um, going going into trying to be a doctor wouldn't have given me the freedom that I wanted. Um, it wouldn't have allowed me to pursue all these other things that I wanted. So I ultimately, I decided um, against it. And then um, I decided to like, so geography was also another big subject of mine. Like it was my favorite subject growing up and probably still is. Um, I always loved like maps as a kid. And I, I still remember asking my mom like for maps, like I'll be so happy if my mom bought me a new map or something right so i was like were there any careers in that that i could pursue um so i even looked into like urban planning because that's something that i found interest in um and then i was thinking about that and then i i ended up i even did a year in engineering like electrical engineering so as you can tell like i didn't know really what i wanted to do um and i feel like when you're young it's, it's okay to be kind of confused and not know what you want to do and just kind of dip your toes in and get a feel for what um, it offers and see if, if it is something that you like. So I didn't end up like engineering. So I instead I went to um, into finance. And so finance was big for me because of my dad. So he's really big into the stock market. He's always telling me about it. He's always talking about different companies. And I kind of found, found out that I kind of like it as well. So it is something I went into like finance. And I ended up finishing my degree in financial economics. So I kind of learned about finance, economics, everything, and it is something that I actually enjoy. I know most people find it boring. 
Um, so after I finished school, I decided to work for Scotia Bank as a financial advisor. So at that time, I, I started realizing that I really liked helping people with their finances. I liked talking to them about it. And that um, was something I enjoyed. But what I didn't like about it is working for somebody else. I hated working for somebody else. So that's when it clicked for me that if I go into real estate, um, I can work for myself. I can help people with their finances. It would also incorporate my love of maps, urban planning, and all of that. Um, so it seemed like the best best scenario for me. And honestly, like looking back on it, it was probably one of the best decisions I ever made in my life. And I'm definitely happy for it. Uh, so I don't know if it's because I'm in my room right now, but one of my biggest pet peeves is when someone opens my door, my room door, and when they leave, they don't close it. Like, and then I have to get up off my bed or whatever I was doing on my desk or anything, and then I have to go close it. So that's the only one I can think of right now, but I'm sure I have a few others. Top three food spots. So that's kind of hard to uh, pick just because Toronto has so many food spots, so many amazing food spots. But if I had to choose three, um, one, definitely Pai. So it's the best Thai food in Toronto. Um, definitely, if you like Thai food, you got to try out Pai. Um, another one would be Seven Lives. Seven Lives in Kensington Market. Their tacos are just so good. So you got to try that if you haven't. And three, honestly, like comfort food, like the Wow Wings, like the Jeffno Fries at Wow Wings, honestly crazy. <laughs> so that would be another thing I would include in the top three there, but there's honestly a huge list. I was born in Switzerland. So yes, definitely a beautiful country. Uh, I was born there when I was, and I came to Canada when I was a year old, uh, but my dad was still there till I was like 10. So I would go there like every summer and winter break. Uh, so it almost felt like a second home to me. Uh, but yeah, if you've never been there, definitely add it to your bucket list because it's just so beautiful. It almost reminds me of like Western Canada. Yes, that is something I'm trying to achieve. For those of you that don't know, um, FIRE stands for Financial Independence Retire Early. So I don't know about the retire early part because I know I'm always going to be working on something, uh, whatever it is. But financial independence is something that I'm trying to achieve just so I can work on, on only the things that I want to work on, not just for the sake of money or anything like that. So starting Yane, it was such a huge process. It was actually called Cuddlers before. Um, and we, we started on Amazon and then now we've changed the name and we're doing a whole product change switch. So the process is a big, big topic. We're actually starting a podcast on Yane, like on the Instagram page at We Are Yane. It's actually going to be called yana in the room so that name was actually uh, made by my cousin and such a sick name uh basically it's gonna be we're gonna talk about issues uh the elephant in the room essentially so we're talking about issues that impact people but they don't really want to talk about it it's just there but everyone knows about it but no one's really talking about it so we're gonna talk about those issues um so definitely stay tuned follow we are yana and we'll talk about the process as well there so that's it for today guys um i hope i answered most of the questions if there are some questions that you still want to know about me, uh, just send me a message or anything like that. Maybe there'll be a part two in the future. Uh, I didn't want to make it too long or boring. Like, I don't know if you guys want to hear about me that much. So I try to make it short and sweet. Um, hope you enjoyed. Um, and by the way, if you ever have questions about real estate, investing, anything like that, you know who to reach out to. Take care, guys. Happy Thanksgiving.